Sri Lankan state-sponsored colonization schemes refers to the government program of settling mostly farmers from the densely populated wet zone in the sparsely populated areas of the dry zone in the north-central province and the eastern province regions near tanks and reservoirs being built in major irrigation and hydro power programs such as the Mahaweli project to create farming and fishing communities. Since irrigation settlements in the north central and eastern provinces occurred under direct state sponsorship, as most of these farmers are ethnic Sinhalese it appeared to many Tamils as a deliberate attempt of the Sinhalese dominated state to marginalize them further by decreasing their numbers in the area. It has been perhaps the most immediate cause of intercommunal violence. Topic. Introduction Shortly after independence, the government of Ceylon started a program to settle farmers in the jungles of Trincomalee district. The forests were cleared and water tanks restored. As a consequence of these schemes the Sinhalese population of Trincomalee district rose from 11,606 in 1946 to 85,503 in 1981. In the 1980s the government extended the colonization schemes into the dry zone area of the northern province, drawing up plans to settle up to 30,000 Sinhalese in. Colonization schemes also took place in the areas of Ampara and Batakaloa districts where Sinhalese population rose from 61,996 in 1963 when the district was formed to 229,000 by 2007 according to government census claims. The notion of the traditional Tamil homeland became a potent component of popular Tamil political imagination while the Sinhalese nationalist groups viewed the resettlement schemes in these areas as reclamation and recreation in the present of the glorious Sinhalese Buddhist past. The Muslim community tended to reject the countervailing notion of a traditional Tamil homeland in the northeast region which resulted in animosity between the Muslim and Tamil communities in the region to rise. Topic. 1950s The first colonization scheme was at Kanthalai Kulam Kantale, tank where peasants from outside Trincomalee district were settled in the traditional Tamil village of Kanthalai, 39 km southwest of Trincomalee town. 77% of settlers were Sinhalese and the rest were Tamils, Muslims. A colonization scheme was at Alai Kulam tank, 25 km south of Trincomalee town. 65% of settlers were Sinhalese and the rest were Muslims. The colonization scheme was extended to Tamil speaking areas of Anuradhapura district. A scheme was started at Pathavik Kulam, Padavia, Tank, 65 km northeast of Anuradhapura town. Parts of the scheme lay in Trincomalee district and as such were annexed to the Sinhalese dominated Anuradhapura district. Land Development Department employees from this scheme took part in the 1958 anti Tamil riots. Topic 1960s. In the 1961, a colonization scheme was started at Mathali Kulam, Morawewa Tank, 24 kilometers west of Trincomalee town. Topic 1980s. In the 1980s, funded by aid received from the European Community, a colonization scheme was started at Peria Vilinkulam Mahadilwewa, Tank, 30 km northwest of Trincomalee town. The colonization scheme was extended into the northern province with the introduction of the Manal Aru scheme, which covered the districts of Mulaitivu, Trincomalee, Vavunia and Anuradhapura. As ethnic Sinhalese farmers were settled in lands that were traditionally populated by ethnic Tamils, given land, money to build homes and security provided by the Special Task Force. Although the scheme covered four districts, administration was handled from the Sinhalese-dominated Anuradhapura district. The scheme aroused much anger amongst the Tamils. This anger boiled over into violence when the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam attacked the Kent and Dolla farm settlement at Welioya, killing 62. Topic 1990s 
When the Indian peacekeeping forces were withdrawn in 1990, Tamil's homes in the suburbs of Trincomale were occupied by Sinhalese settlers according to pro-rebel Tamilnet. Tens of thousands of landless Sinhala peasants were reported to have been brought in by the advancing SLF and made to occupy local villages and lands, denying resettlement to its original inhabitants who had earlier fled to the jungles due to the murder of Tamil civilians at the hands of the army. Topic 2000s. Since the fall of the LTTE and the liberation of LTTE-held areas, several settlement programs were initiated by the government that extends towards the northern province. In the Vavunia district, 3,000 acres in Madukalam is being cleared for a village, while work of a settlement is underway in the former LTTE stronghold of Othiamalai Kadu. A settlement is being created in Rampavethi, bordering the minor tank area of Erapothana, and new settlement of approximately 2,500 ethnic Sinhala families, about 6,000 people, from the south were settled in the village of Kokachankalam and the Hindu temple in the village was demolished and replaced with a Buddhist stupa. Tamils in Bharathipuram were evicted and a Muslim settlement is being created in the area due to the large economic opportunities provided by an apparels factory being built there. Several new settlements are also being built in Mullaritivu district while the Welioya settlement is being expanded as well. Several fishing colonies are being built in the Manar district and Muslim settlements have been built in lands previously owned by Tamils that fled to India during the war. Navakkali Housing Project is being built in Navakkali, Jaffna district to house 135 Sinhalese families, including 54 families who had, in 2010, attempted to set up temporary residences at the Jaffna railway station with funding from Buddhist organizations and political parties. Tamil nationalist website Tamilnet reported that Tamils were being ethnically cleansed in the Jaffna Peninsula and Mullativu districts, supplemented by construction of Buddhist stupas and Sinhalization of names of streets and places. According to Tamilnet, the Tamil populace has reportedly been reduced to a fourth between 2007 and 2011, according to the government enumeration. According to the website, locals of both North and East complain of the state of waging an accelerated campaign of Sinhala Buddhist colonization by destroying historic Hindu shrines in the East. Over 400 families were reported to have been settled in Nalukulam in Mullativu district by the website. Another incident of state colonization before the final Elam War was reported by Muslim residents of Pulmadai village who claimed that several acres of their traditional land had been annexed by the government for settlements from south on the pretext of industrial development. See also Origins of the Sri Lankan Civil War Sri Lankan Civil War Black July pogrom Transmigration program <laughs>